What is philosophy? Philosophy, a vast field full of timeless questions that have puzzled humans since the dawn of time. It's like a grand labyrinth, full of twisting turns and towering walls, where the questions are the paths we tread and the answers are the doors we open. From the purpose of life, the meaning of a good life, to the essence of morality, these questions have echoed through the ages, reaching us in our present day. Imagine philosophy as a vast, sprawling city. Each district represents a key area of philosophical exploration. There's the district of truth and reality, where philosophers strive to understand the world as it truly is, beyond our perceptions and assumptions. There's the district of morality and ethics, where the code of conduct for human behavior is scrutinized and debated. The district of mind and brain investigates consciousness and its mysteries. In the district of science and logic, the principles of reasoning and the natural world are examined. The district of politics and society delves into the organization of human communities, while the district of history and memory contemplates our past and how it shapes our present. In this grand city, philosophers work like tireless detectives, navigating the streets and alleys, piecing together clues and chasing down leads. Their goal? To shed light on these timeless questions, to provide answers that can guide us in our everyday lives. They investigate the nature of reality, question our beliefs, explore the origins of our values, scrutinize our decision-making processes, compare different ways of understanding the world, and ponder what makes life truly good. In our journey through life, we are often faced with crossroads, moments where we must choose a path. These choices shape our lives, guiding us towards joy or sorrow, success or failure, fulfillment or emptiness. While there is no one-size-fits-all map that can guide us flawlessly through life's labyrinth, philosophy offers us some invaluable navigational aids. These philosophical principles, distilled from centuries of thought and debate, can guide us towards a more meaningful life. So, let's embark on this journey together, exploring the timeless nature of philosophical questions and how they can guide us towards a more meaningful life. While there are many questions, some philosophical principles can guide us towards a more meaningful life. A great life is built on a solid foundation, a foundation that you have the power to design. Let's take a moment to dive into this idea. Life, in its sheer complexity and unpredictability, can often feel like a ship navigating through a storm. It's easy to feel tossed about, helpless against the waves of circumstance. Yet the beauty of being human is that we have the unique ability to steer our own vessel, to take an active role in shaping our life's course. You see, you might not be able to control everything about your life, but you can take an active role in shaping the essential things. Think of it like being an architect of your own existence. You have the power to design your life based on your values, your dreams, your passions. And this design starts with a solid foundation, a foundation that is crafted from the bedrock of self-awareness and authenticity. Being true to oneself is an integral part of this foundation. It's about embracing who you are, even when it goes against the grain. It's about honoring your unique quirks, your strengths, your weaknesses, and your dreams. Authenticity is a compass that guides you towards a life that is deeply fulfilling and uniquely yours. And then, there are emotions. They are like the weather patterns in our life, sometimes sunny, sometimes stormy, and often unpredictable. They can add color and depth to our existence, but they can also cloud our judgment and rob us of the present moment. Remember, every emotion is fleeting, just like the weather. So. When the storm of anger brews, remind yourself of the wise words. For every minute you are angry, you lose 60 seconds of happiness. So let's build that foundation, brick by brick, with authenticity, self-awareness, and emotional wisdom. Let's take the helm and navigate towards a life that is not just good, but great. Remember, every minute you are angry, you lose 60 seconds of happiness. Life is a journey of exploration, a journey that requires us to constantly expand our realities and acknowledge our limitations. But what does it mean to expand our realities? It's about being open to new experiences, meeting different people, tasting new foods, reading diverse books, and essentially stepping out of our comfort zones. Every new experience we have, every new person we meet, every new perspective we consider expands our understanding of the world around us and in turn expands our realities. But expanding our realities isn't just about accumulating experiences. 
It's about being open to opportunities that may challenge our perceptions and assumptions about life. It's about being willing to question the status quo, to look at things from a different angle, to consider a different point of view. It's about being willing to say, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe there's another way to look at this. It's about being willing to change our minds. Our realities are also shaped by our knowledge. The more we know, the broader our realities become. We can't fully understand or appreciate something we know nothing about. So we must strive to constantly learn, to constantly seek knowledge. We must read books, watch documentaries, listen to podcasts, attend lectures, engage in meaningful conversations, and ask questions. The more we learn, the more we grow, and the more our realities expand. But while we strive to expand our realities, we must also acknowledge our limitations. We must recognize that we don't know everything and we never will. We must accept that we're not always right, that we make mistakes, that we have biases. We must understand that our knowledge is limited, that our perspectives are influenced by our experiences, that our understanding of the world is shaped by our perceptions. We must acknowledge our ignorance, for it is in acknowledging our ignorance that we open ourselves to learning, to growing, to expanding our realities. The only true wisdom is in knowing you know nothing. Happiness often lies in understanding what's within our control and making the most out of it. In this beautiful, chaotic, and unpredictable world, one of the most empowering truths we can embrace is that we have control over certain aspects of our lives. This doesn't mean we can manipulate every circumstance to our liking. Rather, it's about recognizing where our power truly lies and using it effectively. Consider this, we can't control the weather, but we can control how we respond to it. We can't control the traffic, but we can control our reaction to it. We can't control the actions of others, but we can control our own actions and reactions. This concept, this understanding, is a cornerstone of many philosophical teachings. It's about not just reacting to life, but actively participating in it. One of the ways we can exercise control is by actively choosing what we do each day. Rather than letting life happen to us, we can make conscious decisions about how we spend our time, who we spend it with, what goals we're working towards. This is not about micromanaging every moment, but about crafting a life that reflects our values and aspirations. Active choosing also extends to our thoughts and emotions. We can't always control what thoughts pop into our heads, but we can control whether we dwell on them or let them go. We can't control every emotion that arises, but we can control how we respond to them. Another aspect of taking control is managing expectations, particularly those relating to others. We often have an idea of how people should behave, but the reality is we can't control what others think, say, or do. Trying to do so is a recipe for frustration and disappointment. Instead, we can focus on our own actions, our own responses, and our own attitudes. In essence, taking control is about recognizing where our power lies and using it wisely. It's about making conscious choices, managing our expectations, and responding to life's challenges with grace and resilience. Remember, you cannot control what others think, say, or do. Language, it shapes our reality and plays a vital role in our pursuit of a good life. Language is not merely a tool for communication. It's a framework that structures our thoughts. It's an anchor for our beliefs. It's a mirror reflecting our understanding of the world. We use language to express ourselves, to convey ideas, to connect with others. It's through language that we interpret our experiences, make sense of our emotions, and shape our perceptions. But language is not a passive tool. It's an active participant in our life's journey. It's not just about what we say, but also about how we say it, how we use it to interpret the world around us. Language can both liberate and confine us. It can open us up to new ideas, new ways of thinking, or it can trap us in old patterns of thought, old ways of seeing the world. It's through language that we construct our realities, that we define what's possible and what's not. But here's the thing, language is not fixed. It's fluid, it's evolving, and we have the power to shape it, to use it to redefine our reality. We can question the words we use, the ideas they represent, the realities they construct. We can challenge the assumptions we've made, the beliefs we've held, the truths we've accepted. Just as the philosophers of old questioned the nature of reality, the nature of good and evil, the nature of happiness and suffering, we too can question what we think is the only truth. We can use language to explore new possibilities, to redefine our understanding of the world, 
to reshape our reality. And it's through this process of questioning, of exploring, of redefining that we can find our own path to a good life. A life that's meaningful, fulfilling, and true to who we are. Let's end with this thought. The life we lead is often a reflection of the philosophy we follow. Thank you for joining us on this philosophical journey. It's through these discussions that we hope to inspire, challenge, and provoke thought. We encourage you to join us further in this exploration. If you found value in this content, consider subscribing to our channel. We have more thought-provoking content on the way that will help us delve deeper into the philosophical world. It's not just about understanding philosophy. It's about applying it, challenging it, and letting it challenge us. It's about using philosophy as a tool to navigate through the complexities of life, to expand our perspectives, to redefine our realities. Remember, the journey of philosophy is a lifelong pursuit. It's not a destination, but a path. A path that's filled with questions, with challenges, with discoveries. A path that's unique to each one of us. As we continue this journey together, we hope to provide you with the tools, the insights, and the inspiration to make your own path. So subscribe, stay tuned, and let's embark on this fascinating journey together. Remember, as we've learned today, the words we use, the thoughts we have, and the ideas we explore can shape our reality. Let's use them wisely. Let's use them courageously. Let's use them creatively. Let's use them to create a life that's meaningful, fulfilling, and true to who we are.